if you're like me, um, you're going to find Adobe Cooler uh, a really fun web um, program for you to play with in this course. Uh, you're going to be utilizing this program to create a color palette for you and your clients uh, to work within, which you will then be using to um, style and add you know, c colors design to their site. Uh, to get started in Adobe Cooler, um, when you get there, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create an account. Um, if you bought Dreamweaver, you would you can utilize your, your Adobe ID through what you did for Dreamweaver, but I believe you can also just you know create uh, just a typical account within Adobe even if you didn't buy Dreamweaver. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in my username and password. So now I'm logged in, and now what I want to do is we're going to create um, an image. I mean, we're going to create a color swatch based on image for one of our website for like a website. So what we could do is we can go over here to create, and we're going to create from an image, uh, which you could have created from a color, um, but let's we're going to do it from an image for our purposes. So let's say I've worked with my client and we decided on uh, this Frankenstein image for the Frankenstein book. Then as you notice down here at the bottom, it's already developed a color palette based on that image. Pretty cool, huh? So what it did was it picked colors out from this image and de de devised this uh, color swatch down here. So now what I need to do is since I'm already logged, if you do this without logging in, you're not really going to be, you're not going to be able to do anything with the colors. So now I need to save the image and I can give it a title. So let's say Frankenstein and I'm going to save it. So now my Frankenstein image is already saved. Now it's saved to my, to my cooler area, which let me use a scroll bar here to get over to the Oh, I guess I'm already in my cooler area. So now what we can do is we can utilize this information here to do different things with our image. You could trash it, you could um, add to your favorites, which it's pretty much already added to your favorites because now it's within your, your cooler area. Uh, you could download this image as a swatch. Um, we're not going to be doing that in this class. Um, other courses that get more into utilizing Photoshop and Fireworks, well, you would do that. For our purposes, we're going to just we can go and make changes. And what we're looking for down here is the hexadecimal codes. So each each color has its own unique hexadecimal codes, and this is what you will be using to change the the font or the colors as you develop your CSS for the for the site. Now to share this with your client here in this course, what you're going to do is make sure you go back to your cooler area, go to your cooler, and now that you're within your image that you made, so now you want to share this with them, so you can click on this more info, and if you share with the client this link here, that will take them specifically to this, this color swatch here. They won't be able to make changes to it, they would communicate those changes to you of course, but they can at least see the colors that you're kind of going with. And then you can chat with them about, like, do you like one of these colors perhaps for the background of your site? Do you like one of these colors perhaps for the main text? Which of these colors do you think you would like for the heading? Which of these colors do you think you'd like for a navigational menu? Which of these colors do you think you'd like to be the borders of images or the border? You know, I mean, there's all kinds of different things that you can do with these colors to build, to add value to this design of your site. Which color would you like for the bolding of words? Stuff like that. And then when we get to week five, the client is actually finally going to be seeing some of the co these colors in action as you work wireframing the site and showing them, you know, specifically how these colors might be used with some different designs. And you could even mock up for them, you know, different. Uh, example site examples based on these different colors here. So have fun with Adobe Cooler and let me me in the class know if you have any questions.